All right, so here we go with round one. And when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all costs. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get back to his feet. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you've got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your space. If not, you're going to find yourself tapping and really wondering. Oh, he goes to the ankle pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Nice one, two there. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full on bro. These guys said that they were going to point to this into the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe him? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. He is all about that left kick to the body. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Andy lands the knee to the body now. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking oh! the damage strikes on top. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Both oh, strike. he might be out. Oh! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches. Oh! this dude work on the mat. He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of it. It was a good round leading up to that, but when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Round two underway. Goes back to that left kick once again. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Oh, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly it's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting poker spins, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Ooh, he Officially rock. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. You got him. Right hand upstairs. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active. Keep it busy. with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight.
All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. All right, we go back inside the octagon.